Well, the Chevy crew saved the GM Lordstown plant, and now the second generation model is ready to take it to new heights. 27 First News anchor Dave Sess takes us behind the scenes of the new crews at the Cleveland Auto Show. General Motors put millions of dollars into the Lordstown plant to make sure the second generation crews would be as successful as the first. Anytime the corporation invests $250 million in your plant, it's a statement about the product and the people and the, the commitment to the communities. Lordstown has a new trim shop, which is where the instrument panels, seats, windshield, and other interior parts are installed. They don't get as much attention as how the car looks on the outside. The car's longer. It's lighter, it's got more horsepower, better fuel economy, and more connectivity than any than the first generation cruise. The efficiency that General Motors gets out of this engine is 42 miles per gallon. It matches the look that it was going for. This vehicle is now three inches longer and an inch lower, so it's sleeker. Those are important updates for Chevy, which has used the cruise to attract drivers to the Bowtie brand. Oh, I think it attracts a lot of younger buyers. Actually, I think it's over 35% uh, of cruise buyers are new to the brand. And that's important to the 5,000 workers who make the cruise. They're not even worried about the hatchback version, which will be made in Mexico. I don't really see it impacting the workers at Lordstown, but I do see it giving our customers an added bonus to the cruise lineup. The new cruise goes on sale this spring. In Cleveland, Dave Sess, 27 First News.